Hey guys, it's Roger Orwan here with another episode of Modern Minecraft Forge, and today I'm going to be showing you how to um like add some attributes, NC attributes to your um Minecraft mob, and also show you how to add some basic AI. Okay, so um what we're going to do in this example tutorial, we're actually not going to have a hostile mob because that's what NC mob is. NC mob is a hostile mob. Um, we're actually going to have this as a peaceful mob, so NC animal will have it as. Okay. And I'm going to add unimplemented methods, and this is going to have to return entity tut mob um, world um, parameter one world. Oh, so I changed the world object I meant to do. And we need to return a new. So my bad. Okay. Don't know why I had it as my site trying to type world and all that, because that's what we do for parameters of a thing. Well, create parameters, sorry. Okay. So, first things first, let's actually start some adding some attributes. And what attributes are? That's basically like the entity speed, the entity's. Um, the NCs like health, so on and so forth. Okay, and I, can, I can show you how to like find different ones and how how to add them for you now. So we're gonna say protected void apply entity attributes. Can that type of spell? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So we need to super this to start off with because this will basically say any ones we don't actually apply. Uh, any ones we don't actually edit, then we want you just to use the default ones. Okay, and uh, I don't need the brackets there. Okay. So, let's actually start getting on to actually editing the attributes that are already there. So, I'm going to do this dot get attribute, att uh, get NC attribute, sorry. Okay, and it's going to take one parameter, okay? So the parameter it's going to take is shared monster attributes. Okay? So, basically that's a class inside of Minecraft Forge, uh, inside of this Minecraft source, in that, that Minecraft entity. And you've got loads of things, you've got like max health, you've got follow range, you've got movement speed, you've got attack damage, so that would be things like hostile mobs, but we're using a normal peaceful mob for now. And we've got logger, I don't, I'm not too sure what that is. Um, but these are the only attributes. Max health, follow range, not bad resistance, movement speed, and attack damage. They're the main ones, which we actually can edit using this class by the looks of it. Okay? So, what we'll do is we'll go shared monster attributes dot max health. We'll set this to, so we've, after we've done that, we need to go dot set base value as a double which we'll set to and then we'll have the health as 15.0d okay so that'll be what that'll be five six seven that'll be seven and a half hearts that is okay so why don't we just bump that up to eight hearts so that's eight hearts it will have the uh, mob it will have the normal ten um we can also do this dot get nc attribute Shared monster attributes dot. We could also do the movement speed, which we which we will have to do. And when we'll do dot set base value. I, I don't know, not point four, not point three D. We'll have it at. Okay, like so. Okay, so I guess the other two are really not. We don't really need to do the other two, so we can have a look at what was the other ones now. Tribute. Shared. Monster. Attributes. And do we really need to do the other ones? Um. No, I don't think we really need to. Because like, it's far range, I don't see why we'd need that. So yeah, I guess we'll just see what, what we've got for now. Okay, so we'll delete that last one there. Now on to actually some basic AI. 
Mm -hmm. Okay, so what we need to do is I'm going to go uh, public is AI enabled, like so. Public boolean, sorry. So if that's so it returns a true or false statement, is AI enabled? And obviously, we're going to want to return true. And the way we actually write our custom AI, we need to do it up here this dot tasks. We'll do just normal uh, tasks now, okay? Dot add task. We need to give it um, the priority, which will be z so we'll do it as in like IDs because it's the way it works. So I don't, I'm not, I don't know why you can't have shared priorities, but yeah, so we'll set this to zero. And we'll do a new. And then we can actually add an AI here, okay? So what the way we can actually find like AIs that are already built into Minecraft. We can go to, in to build our build folder, our temp folder, our recomp source. We can go to entity, not yeah entity, and then go into AI, and you've got all of these things here. Okay, so we could have I don't know, could have it flee the sun so new. Entity AI flee. But no, we won't have that because it's not going to be this peaceful mob. So we could have. Um, I'm trying to think of a good one. We could have. Oh, we're going to have to have it to wonder. That's one of them. Uh, so we're going to have to go entity AI wonder. Okay. And obviously, we need going to need to import that. And then we'll get some errors. Okay. Because it's going to want um, us to add two parameters, which is the actually entity creature. And parameter which is equal to the speed, okay? So all we'll do is we will set the first parameter to this, comma, and then the next parameter to 0.3d, because that's what our normal speed is. Okay? The reason we can't the reason I haven't stored this in the variables because I found I had found some issues before with it and it was wasn't working the way it was supposed to. Okay. We could also add another um Add another uh, NCI, and that will be new NCI AI flee, and um, and flee basically is where um, if the target's been attacked by some, then it will just start to run around cra like crazy and not really have anywhere to go. So that's going to take a couple parameters as well. So if we import that, did I spell it wrong? Oh, panic it is, sorry. NCI panic. Okay, so that'll take two parameters, which will be the speed again, and also the NC creature, so it's just going to be this comment, and then we'll set the speed to a bit higher, so we'll set it to I know, 0.7d. Okay. So, another one we can do is. Let's, think, let's look for another one, shall we? We'll do. Look idle, okay. So we'll do and uh, this dot tasks tasks dot add task three that uh, two that is sorry event new entity AI um what was it now I oh, just had it then I don't think my tongue oh yeah look idle it's going to want to look idle. Okay, so we'll import that. Look at its parameters. It's going to take one of it's just going to be this. Oh, it's only one parameter, and that's just this. So, okay. Just still recording. Yeah. Okay. Another one we could do is tempt. Okay, yeah. So that's a good one. So I've got my notes on the side of me because so I wrote a class before. I'm just having a look what which ones I really want to cover. Okay, so another one is we're going to do this dot tasks dot add task free comma new entity AI swimming like so and you'll see that this only requires one parameter which is the actual entity um, anti-living, so that'll be just this again. 
And um, we'll do one more. I'm just going to copy and paste this because it's just a pain. Let's rewrite every time again. And the last one we'll do is anti AI tempt. Okay. So I'm going to get rid of this. Import it. Okay. And if you actually control click on this, you'll see it takes multiple, like, quite a few parameters. So the first one's creature. Okay. I'm going to go to this. The next one is a double. Okay. So I actually traced this back, and basically what it was, this was the speed of the actual mob. Okay. So yeah. So this is the speed of the mob, uh, the speed, the rate of which the mob follows you when you've got this item in your hand that we're about to have. So I set this to our uh, to our speed, which is 0.3d. Okay. Then we'll in fact we'll set it to four because it's going to be tempted, so it might be a bit more excited. <laughs> Comment, and then we could have any sort of item we want. So we could go to items, and okay, let's say this that this thing likes. I don't know. It likes. It likes to look at books. Okay, it's, it's a, bit, a bit of a bookworm. Okay, and then the last parameter is a boolean. Okay, so this is a true or false statement, and basically this is a if it's scared by movement. Okay, we're gonna have this to false, um, because yeah, um, it's not an ocelot or anything like that. I'm going to set this priority to 4. Okay, so that's it really. However, there is another one which I might want to cover because I didn't really get to look into I didn't really look into this before, which I probably should have. But there's another type of AI we can add. If I actually go look at the, uh, some of the source code. That's right, if you ever want to try and find some of it, it's very, very useful to look at some source code. Okay. So, um, let's try and find one with some good source code. So we can go to other now. The wolf. Okay, um, yeah, we don't really need to do this this tiger task thing. So as I'm aware, because there's none, none of these in here which we might want to do as a target task. Um, yeah, there's nothing we really want to do, okay. So I guess we'll just run the game. Okay, it's still going to be a white box because we haven't given it a uh, texture yet. So, um, yeah, it's still going to be like it's still going to be like a white box. I'm not so sure how it's going to react in game, but because it's always hard to tell when you're not actually got a texture for the thing. So I'm just going to spawn it on the spot. Hello. I like to fall into the ground. Okay. We've got a fix for this. What we can do is we can actually go into here and we can do this dot set size I'll set it to 1.0 F and then 1.0 F, so it's kind of like a box. Okay, so we'll rerun that and see how that goes. Okay, so now we should be able to spawn in. I hope mean, it should sink. Those guys in that hole are dying, aren't they? Okay, dude. Do you think? You can see he's actually panicking there. It's a bit glitchy at the moment, though. Because we don't have to get, the reason he's being glitchy is because he's not being rendered properly. I can see he's actually panicking because we've hit him. You know, just to prove a point, we might just I'll just set his speed to a bit higher when he's when he's panicking. So I said, so I don't know, one point seven D. And hopefully that's making him insanely fast. Another thing we need to change, we probably change this to 1, because it's still a 0, and it's not, it, we can't have mixed priorities like I said before. Okay, that's my bad again. <laughs> so it should be insanely fast every time we, every time it panics now. Okay, run. There we are. It's going a bit crazy. Obviously we need to render him, else, else he doesn't look right. Yeah, you can't run up a 2 block wall, mate. He's doing jumping jacks. Okay, so now if we actually get out some coal, he should hopefully um, not coal. What did we set it to? We set it to books, didn't we? Book. Okay, so if we get out a book, he hopefully should follow us. Dude, look what we got here. Why are you trying to go that way? Follow. 
What's this? Okay, apparently that didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> It worked before when I, was, when I was trying it, but obviously not now. I'll be right back and see if I can fix it. Okay, it's kind of work. It didn't really work the way I wanted it to, but I had to change the item to coal like I did before, but it shouldn't make a difference. But basically, if you spawn him and I get out of the coal, he should like jolt this way for a moment. And there we are, see, he's following us. Okay, so I set his speed to a bit more, but he seems to glitch out a bit, I don't know why. It's probably because we're not rendered him properly. So we shall render him in the next episode. Okay. So thanks for watching, guys. This has been the Ghost Project 01. And I guess I'll see you guys later. Bye.